My name is Harlan Levy. I am an American citizen who's been living in Brussels for the past 17 years. We're standing in my um, contemporary art gallery that I run together with Wing Lam Kwok. Uh, we're standing in front of an artwork and on an artwork, in an artwork from a New York based artist named Jordan Seiler. And I've been living and working in this space here in Excel for the past two and a half years. My relationship to Poland is, um, is limited. Even if my grandfather was coming from Poland, that was something he didn't particularly want to talk about. Um, in the last six years, my relationship to Poland deepened because of my friendship and professional collaboration with Marcin Dudek. Uh, then I started to work with another Polish artist named Radek Schlaga. Both are interested in, um, in their Polish roots, if I can say that. Maybe in their Polishness somehow, or their Polish history, or maybe it's just their history and the country has nothing to do with it. Um, but Marcin Dudek, the first long-term body of work that he, he did, uh, which we created a book about called The Department of Subterranea, was definitely heavily influenced by his father's work in the salt mines outside of Krakow. And Radek, the first project we did together, which was called All the Brutes, was um, you know a little bit based on Joseph Conrad's uh, Heart of Darkness and the idea of the Polish diaspora. So Conrad, a Polish writer who wrote so beautifully in English, Radek, whose family had emigrated to Detroit. But the people that I'm lucky enough to know and work with all have a great ability to um, solve problems on their own, all have a knowledge of constructing, and maybe even a little bit of a complex about being seen as simple uh, workers and in talking with them when you say like hey Polish are great builders um, Of course people don't find that necessarily a flattering comment Whereas I really do so there's a skill there and I think this skill is, is not just construction it's craftsmanship um, And it probably comes out of the necessity of making your own things instead of having them pushed at you and sold to you I, I don't really know This is a work from Marcin Dudek. It's made with cloth tape so it's little hand-cut bits of cloth tape mm -hmm. uh, applied to a wooden panel and then sprayed with a UV varnish. So, I mean, you have to check the kind of like compulsive and very laborious uh, yeah. nature of it. I mean, if you look too closely, it's almost visually aggressive. And this is part of a body of work called Steps and Marches, interpreting the history of stampedes within football stadiums. It gives you this sort of topographical overview of a city or, or a stadium or anywhere where a crowd assembles and how a crowd is moved and how people resist um, what they're told to do or how they're told to move or where they're told to be. Martin's work before 2012, he was dealing with the idea of being underground, like mm -hmm. underground politically, underground culturally, underground physically, and what that means to create room to breathe, to innovate, mm -hmm. to forge your own path. A hot day. I don't remember the month, must have been end of summer. We walked up some steps. There was also a kind of concrete ramp, small incline. Then we were pushed into a bigger space. Um, everybody followed in one by one, going through a steel turnstile, um, which if I recall, had some barbed wire around the different turnstiles. It was a little bit aggressive. And then we entered into a space with mainly men and some thousands of people. Um, we sat on the longer side. On the shorter side, people were really, uh, let's say, into it, jumping. They had red banners, white banners, uh, some flares, some smoke. It got pretty excited and it smelled like fresh cut grass and 